So we're at a current depth of 1344 meters. Uh, we launched the ROV this morning uh, about quarter to nine, and we have been surveying the east wall of Block Canyon. We're currently about 100 miles off the coast of Rhode Island, uh, pretty much due south. We are working up our first wall transect. Large number of corals, including huge numbers of deep sea corals, uh, probably some of the more densely populated uh, wall face that we've seen on this cruise. We have at least three species of coral in view right now, bamboo coral, uh, the Giovanni cup coral just went out of our view, and then uh, this yellow coral um, has several Ophioroid brittle stars. Dead cup corals, probably desmophyllum, a few dead branches and bases of uh, bamboo here. Those look like cup corals on a very thin branch of the bamboo. That's pretty amazing. The other cool thing that we're uh, noticing is that on the ROV sonar, for those of you back on shore, you can actually see the bamboo corals sticking off of the wall face uh, in the sonar which is pretty cool from my perspective. Yeah, that's our first true lapidisis right here. Oh, in the now front? The Do you see the one in the back? Yeah, it's whip, different. With bamboo, it's called curling. Large number of uh, bamboos, not as much diversity in terms of other species on this part of the wall. It looks like it's transitioning to a lightly sedimented covered uh, top. Um, among the corals that we've seen today uh, are several species that we haven't seen in other canyons. The ROV Deep Discover, otherwise known as D2, has left the bottom. We are transiting up from a depth of uh, passing through 1,235 meters. This is the Okanis Explorer. We are headed to a depth of 14, 18 meters, um, about 30 meters from our waypoint. One, uh, where we observed a water column anomaly in the multi-beam mapping data that uh, Mimi Lobecker had conducted the other night. Well, I think it's going to be a really fantastic dive today. This is our third seep dive. Well, very cool. Cutthroat eel. That's awesome. It has a shrimp in its mouth. So I, I guess the, for the first objective is really to see if we can find bubbles emanating out of the seafloor. Wow. Yeah, several live mussels and dead shell fragments along the outskirts of the mussel bed and um, several carbonate outcrops. These carbonate outcrops are a result of precipitation of calcium carbonate from bacterial processes occurring on the seafloor. Okay, we're pirouetting around um, these carbonate outcrops that have at least eight coral colonies, octocorals. <laughs> Probably the large sizes we're seeing are at least a couple hundred years old. And we are currently diving New England Steep Site 1. And this is the first science dive here. Really, this mussel bed looks like it extends seems like it's one big system yeah yeah it gets denser and patchier at different points but ultimately they seem like that they're pretty much interconnected wow. 
Look at that. That is pretty amazing. Yeah. All those really small muscles. Wow. These little gastropods look uh, slightly different than the, than the ones we had seen in the, um, the other beds before. So this, this is interesting too. We may not actually find the bubbles, as Mimi has indicated. This one was fairly weak. I mean, obviously, the finding of the live mussels here and the alcogenic carbonate at the seafloor is very significant, and I think that tells us something very important geologically. Those bubbles coming up? Bubbles. There was a cry from uh, the other room as uh, Mimi celebrated, I think it was. All right, we have bubbles, methane emanating from the seafloor here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is kind of interesting in this type of sediment, isn't it? This is good footage, guys. This is really nice. Pilot, dive super. Dive super pilot. Ready to dive? Pilot is ready. Going down, 50 meters and hold, please. Yeah, let him go. Did it quite a lot last cruise was help have my co-pilot take the camera. Yeah, Which I'm help starting help. to think that would help. My name is Amanda Demopoulos. I'm from the USGS. I'm here with Martha Nazinski on the Okeanos Explorer. So anyone who's watching the live feed from the shore side, this is a very exciting dive today. This is the first time we've ever explored this area, middle of Seamount. And as you see it, we're seeing it for the first time. So we're thrilled to be on this adventure with you all and look forward to what we're gonna discover as we ascend. Seeing some amphipods on the inside of the sponge. Looks like sort of fibrous threads along the inside of the sponge. Some close ups of a crinoid that's on, um, on a branch of a, uh, looks like a bamboo coral. Amphipods on this uh, Chrysogorgia. These rocks are salt. A couple different shapes and sizes here. Distance. For a second, then we'll come out, pick up the lasers for scale. A little picnogonid on one of the branches. Another species for the uh, for the diversity of us. It has a uh, flummox. It was very exciting, and that was uh, great imaging. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Roger that. We'll have Nav work that up. Let's find something we haven't seen before. We 
We are diving today on the north side of Middle East Seamount, Lydonia Canyon. I have a Nigran Canyon on the west side of the canyon wall. The southwest wall of Hazen Canyon. Diving on uh, USGS on Hazards clock. Site 1 on uh, with the purpose to investigate small, perhaps recent landslide debris deposits. That's really interesting to be able to see um, these mating pairs eating. You can see the barbel extended from the mouth and Stomius is a midwater fish. That coral has the fish. <laughs> Moving in for his close up. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking some images of a, a fish, I think a, a rat tail. It's like a shark. So, definitely a stocked crinoid that we're taking a look at now. We're getting uh, some nice images of this bamboo coral, probably in the uh, genus Lepidisis. Our depth is 15, 51 meters. So those are scale worms um, crawling along the branch of the um, black coral. Goodness. That is cool. That's awesome. <laughs> what is it, Scott, do you think? I've never seen anything like that before. No, it's no. Suggestions are that perhaps this is uh, made by a nudibranch, but we haven't seen any nudibranchs. We have just seen something incredibly amazing, and, um, and it has stumped all of our resident experts. <laughs>